So I now have an exercise for you. In Python, design a program that calculates out the area of a pentagon. No, don't skip. Don't just run away. You know, think about this for a second. This is a very long, elaborate uh, mathematical equation. So how, what should I do? One thing that I constantly suggest, one of the things that whenever something seems so kind of crazy, just like this math equation, I like to say, how do you eat an entire elephant? Well, how you do it is one bite at a time. Yes, it is crazy, elaborate. So what do you do? Break it down into the smaller little chunks. For example, let's say for our sake, I made A equal 10. of all of these different kind of calculations. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'll handle that one first. That one's very easy. So I'll just call it right. Right equals a square square two, or asterisk asterisk two. Now, I like to check what I'm doing. So right, 100. Ah, that's exactly what I was looking for. But then what? Well, if we come over to the opposite end on the left, simple enough. 1 divided by 4. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why don't I just put a 0 0.25? To which I say, what happens if it had been 0, 1 over 3? At least here, the fraction kind of, it, it handles itself. We know what it will be, but this is just kind of easier, cleaner way of writing it. And so then we can compare that one as well. So I have left and right. But now I need to focus on inner. And this is why I talked about the math library just a second ago because all of a sudden what I'm able to do is I'm able to start to implement some of the kind of things inside of there. I'm going to refer to this portion as inner and inner equals in this case math.sqrt5. Now you can go and you can you know hop on your calculator and you see if that's correct you know arbitrarily speaking 2.2 if I were to kind of Multiply that by two. Yeah, it gives me five. It's a rounding, but we'll approximate. So now what? Well, one of the things I'm able to do is this is where uh, left to right association kicks in. I've made this variable inner. Well, I can expand on it. As you can see, the next step is I need to take whatever was the square root of five, my 2.2, and multiply it by two. So I can come in and I say inner equals inner times two. Now what does this do? Left to right association kicks in. This gets evaluated first. What is inner? Inner is 2.2 multiplied by 2. That gives me 4.4. That now gets assigned or reassigned to inner. And if I take a look at inner, that's exactly what I should see, a 4.47. We can do the exact same thing again. As you can see, sort of the color coding is starting to make sense. Oh, okay, I multiplied. So the next step is obviously I add 5. All right, well, I come in. Instead of doing multiplied by 2, I just say add by 5. Oh, oh, enter. Well, 4.4 plus 5 gives me a 9. Okay, I'm starting to get this. As you see, the next one is multiplied by 5. All right, instead of adding by 5, I multiply by 5, and, you know, inner should be like 9.4 times 5, 9 times 5, roughly about 45, 47. I'm in the same ballpark. You know, I don't need to know 100% what the answer is. I just need to know that I'm roughly close enough to it. Now, finally, we hit the last little bit. Inner equals, and instead of it being a math equation, I'm able to come in and go math.sqrt, just like I did before inner. Uh, and so this all of a sudden will give me some weird crazy 6.88 number and I can then in turn take this and say left times inner times right and what this should give me is 172.4 something. How do I know that I'm telling the truth? How, how do I know that I did this correctly? Well wouldn't it just be dandy if I was able to hop on the Googles area of a pentagon? Oh, hey, what's the side of A? 10? Look, what do you know? We happen to be pretty much right.